just like that, a four-hour job is done in... 25 minutes? Yep. 30 minutes? No, nah, probably like 20 minutes. Because literally as soon as you guys left, I was just taking off the pan on Instagram. It just stiffens everything up a lot. Yeah, from this... Big no, difference. There's, there's, there's no movement in there no once you get it centered and everything. So. Hey, what's up, guys? PK here. So today we're at VCD racing again. Kind of crazy. Been here three times in less than two weeks. Kind of, kind of not coming to me. So let's see what they up to today. Just got this Accord. So working on. This is going to stock. <laughs> oh, this one's going back to stock. Do you have mortar? Yeah. Internals, everything? Yeah. What about this gray one right here? This mortar? We just did a, we just redid the head gasket, but the transmission is messed up actually. Do you see this right here? Yeah. See how it doesn't like swing back? Mm-hmm. It kind of feels like it's supposed to have a spring system where it pushes it back. Yeah, exactly. So this one we noticed that when we were driving it, when we barely brought it in, that the shifting was like really weird and trying to put it into reverse, it would kind of like jam and jam, jam. Yeah, yeah. So I ended up talking to the customer, and I was like, hey, like, we, it's going to mess up more, you know, something's jammed in there for sure, mm -hmm. so we're just going to disassemble it and take it out. But the head gasket's already done. So it, the motor side's done, or you're still yeah. going to do the transmission yeah, and this was open like it? A, this was like an un, unplanned, un unforeseen thing, but yeah, mm -hmm. it's messed up. Uh, so it's like, might as well, since you're already here, right? Pretty much motor, pulled it out, then a head gasket, and then they realized some transmission issues. So we're going to pull it out and uh, see what's up with it. A way to know what's wrong with it or no? Until you open it. Nah, uh, it's because something in the selector area. So it could be the actual like internal selector. Mm -hmm. Or it could be the case. The case could be warped and that's like not letting something move. We, we had one last week that it was like the case. Mm. That it was like just heated up in a, like a low area. And then it just did how, it. Much is, how much would it be for a case? Like 200 bucks. Oh, okay. For like a case. Like a new, new back case. So it's like a differential case. It's... Yeah, it's like a cover basically. Yeah, Sometimes yeah. like that, that holds the forks and the forks jam or yeah. it could be something else completely. It could just be like the selector that's just not being able to move anymore. Yeah, yeah. So what about the one that uh, Morris is working on? Well, that one, we just replaced. Coolant's done, new oil transmission. Put a new W1 in it. The W1 ended up being, uh, it was having some issues. So we just mm -hmm. sent it back. They sent a new one. And then now he's going to put some uh, suspension parts on the car. So he's doing spring collar kits, front sway bar anti live kit and then the RV6 uh, spherical joints. In the Damn, so he's going all out. Yeah, track goes, bro. Yeah, and what about this last one here? This one is, uh, we're gonna get a W1. It has a W2 right now, but it's um, an issue with the W2, so we're gonna go send it back and see what they say, and then hopefully, like. So it's a warranty job with the turbo? Or turbo? Well, not really. I mean, we installed it and just didn't make any, like, the arm is like a really, uh, it's, it's a long story, but yeah. it's, Nothing really to do with like the installation. It's just more about like they're just gonna, they want to just double check the turbo. Right? Okay, so something internally within the turbo is wrong. Maybe I don't know. Yeah. I mean, they're you're just gonna he's gonna send in. They're gonna send one back. And that's it. Okay. That's all I know. Yeah, we just pulled it in. I should have turned it off, but. <laughs> I gotta let, let it out. I was I was so I, I actually moved this car right now. I was chilling inside with the AC on and everything. <laughs> well, yeah, hopefully it gets uh it gets fine. And yeah. It'd be pretty. Simple. I mean, we just replaced the turbo, so I'm just gonna go back and just swap it with the W1. Yeah. So he had a W2, and he also had a W1. So. So he had, he already had the W1. Well, he had a stock turbo on it, but uh -huh. then he bought that one. But he didn't want to put that one because that one was refurbished, like they made it new. Yeah. He was gonna put that one on, but then he ended up buying a W2. But, so, yeah. It just I think it's something with the arm, but I don't know. Until you break it apart, you won't know, right? Yeah, until they do it. Don't let me know. Right? Yeah, yeah. Don't figure it out. They have good warranty, so. Yeah, yeah. Let's do a quick open box. Okay. Uh, so let's read these Japanese instructions. Yeah, so these, these are the front. Yeah, dude. Oh. Oh, very nice shiny bolts here. Oh, sticker. This is a regular original Italian with Ooh. not Mike's way. Maybe. Oh, very shiny. Oh. What are rigid colors for, Louis? There's a video on YouTube. Well, that's what I'm asking you. Yes. It fills in the holes. It fills in the hole. It fills in the hole. Very sexual. You mean, he's mean 
Yeah, if you want to make it. So you like it in the hole? Yeah, I like filling the hole, you know. So <laughs> think about like you're throwing a fucking hot dog down a hallway, right? But now you're not throwing a hot dog down a hallway. Anymore. Why do you with this? It's not. It's not sexual. Morris. You make it sexual. Morris is over here with the wieners and holes and yeah, always. Here, 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 think about this. So this is think about this being the hole in the frame, right? And this is this is your your frame bolt. When you put it in, this is how much play you have, right? Mm -hmm. And then it, it screws in, and then boom, it grabs it, right? Mm -hmm. so, but you still have this play. So as you drive, and you turn very hard and stuff, you get that play in the frame. Mm. But it's everywhere. You really don't feel it because it's a slight shift. Yeah, yeah, the it whole could be like, the whole frame be, shifts. It could be like like this. But the whole thing moves, so you don't even feel it. Yeah, yeah. It's not like just one thing just moving. You're like, oh crap, you know. So now, think of the collar kit going in this now, filling in that extra material, and now the bolt is like this, like no play. Yeah, yeah. That's it's what the collar kit does. Basically, it fills in that extra gap, and now the screw doesn't move. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> ah, no, 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 no. You try and use the Type R chair. It opens the trunk too, dude. Hey, does it do that? The auto windows down? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that old school shit right there. We're gonna go alignment shop, get a line. He wants to see if the frame is bent. I told him it's not. Dude, it doesn't turn on, bro. That's already a bad start, bro. <laughs> it doesn't want to turn on, bro. What's up with this? Still pushed our boy. Hey, Loki, though, for a 2002? That's like revolutionary. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's. That's the only reason I bought the car was for the red button right there. See that red button? Yeah. SDK, SDK peeps, you know what's up. But. You know what's so funny is uh, the little red button on the EP3. Mm -hmm. Like it demonetized. Oh, the car has Bluetooth, by the way. Oh, wow. That's mm -hmm. revolutionary. So there's a little red button on the EP3. Yeah. To get this, get this button red, because the EP3 comes gray. Oh, yeah. So to get it, like... To get the little button, just a little plastic is like another hundred and something bucks. No way. To get it from Europe. That's too much. Just for a little button, you bro. Can't, you can't put the SDK one on it? No, it's different. Uh, it's like different size. Yeah, it's different. So how do you like the car, by the way? <laughs> As you can see, we're not really moving. <laughs> Sorry, it's this car's so fast that he's having trouble trying to handle the car. Yeah, I was talking to my, the guys at Action. Yeah. If I get it, I'm gonna end up like put a clutch on it. They're gonna sponsor it. Nice. Sheesh. Why can't they just sponsor it already? Because I, I, <laughs> I don't own it, bro. It's mine. Oh. 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 He's gonna be like, fuck, bro, really? This car? He's gonna be like, uh, bro, you said it was stock. You think it's... I screwed the shot of it? Uh, uh, yeah, I think, I think it could. Cool. I don't know, we'll see. I got walked, it's about a two minute walk, it's like a five minute walk back. Uh, Morris, he already dropped the plastic cover here. This owner has a BBK on it, that's pretty sick. He's already removed the end links. So to remove the subframe, you need to take off the shock towers, end links, axles. No, so, you, so to remove this, you only need to remove the lower control arm, the outer tie rod, and then the end link. That's okay. what So. Yeah, so you got here the tie rod and uh, link and link and then the lower control so it's okay and then five I'll, bolts whatever cables there is and then yeah well i mean honestly that's really it it's just this one you kind of you just have to pop out since it is kind of like just squeezed in there mm -hmm. so we have a brass hammer and we just hit it out it doesn't damage the metal or anything that's because the brass is soft and then this is just three nuts you pull down and it comes out and then this one's just a 14 Take off the other side and then you just pull it down and, oh, and then after it. that it's just uh, four bolts of the suffer yeah so this one uh it's gonna be this one and this one. It's a, it's pretty much the same thing for the R. So this one and this one. Yep. Uh, I loosen up these that way you can swing the arm. Okay. And then you have a 19 right here. Same thing on both sides. Yep. And then you have a 17 up top. I see it right there. Yeah. And then uh, you do. And then have, somewhere in the front. Yeah, you have another 17 right here, and then you have a 14. Okay. So fairly simple. It sounds pretty simple. Obviously, take off your motor mount bolt. Yeah. And then uh, your front pipe. So fairly fairly simple if you know what you're doing. This is probably like a six hour job for me it's gonna do it in like 30 minutes <laughs> yeah i mean i'll have it off in 10 minutes yeah yeah i was probably five but it depends if we mess around so yeah <laughs> hey he's, he's gonna take apart half the car and he's barely taking off the intake over here <laughs> yeah i'll have it off you know what i'll have it off but <laughs>
Man, it's too much fun being here. Why even work if I could just record you guys all day, man? I I know, and have. I'm telling you, these kids, they, they need to go to family therapy or something, man. All right, so how much have you got done? So he's taking off the intake. This whole uh, cover here, bezel. And, and Morris, I. Morris already gonna take off the subframe over here. clips and then you have a 10 on the steering rack so once you remove that then you can just drop it just like that a four hour job is done in 25 minutes yeah 30 minutes no nah, probably like 20 minutes because literally as soon as you guys left i was just taking off the pan on instagram so. yeah yeah that is true by the time we took the stk everything came back i just put it up Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Now, uh, if you want to see, as far as the bridge there is two sides. So you have a like a smaller bevel side, and then you have a bigger side. So this will actually go into the frame. And I see. So it's pretty yeah. much like a spacer. Pretty much, but you literally put it in there, and like it doesn't move. And the same thing with this, like mm -hmm. it just centers everything. So as soon as this goes up, this will bevel into there. Like the bevel will fit yeah. in there. And so, then it's, so it's centric. It's just centered. Mm -hmm. So you go from this big hole to the Pretty much a smaller bolt hole. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, it's it's small, but it makes the biggest difference. It just stiffens everything up a lot. Yeah, from this, to that. yeah, that's a big and difference. There's, there's there's no movement in there once you get it centered and everything. The back of the rear tail was at 0 0.95, 95 degrees. Uh huh. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> the spec was supposed to be between 30 and 65. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Alright, so looking at the SDK spec, so the caster, they really didn't modify it, so that's the top section there. The front camber, they left as is. Left, left side 1.6, finals 1.7, 1.6. Toe in the front, um, so it was kind of off. Left side was 0.15, right side 0.40. They zeroed it out, so that's good. Um, but he did inform me that my right side ball joint is bad so that needs to get replaced um so even if even though it's zero zero what time it might uh get beat up again looking at the rear so the camber pretty much left it alone again um it is weird he did go from 3.7 3.6 or 3.7 3.1 i do know that they're dependent of each other so maybe by fixing the toe probably adjusted the camber as well it wasn't intentional but it, that's just what it is with the sdk Looking at the toe, we got 35 and 0.60. He changed it to 0.25, 0 0.25. So now it's uh, 0.50 degrees outwards. Thrust angle went from negative 0.1 to zero. So that looks good. But um, yeah, so car's looking good. Shout out to Magic Auto Repair, hooking it up, making it work. So let's see the status with Morris and where he's at. Taking a break already? Looking uh, spherical ball joints. Yeah. So those gotta get pressed in. And then I was just about to lube up the, the colors. What are you gonna lube them up for? You gotta lube them up. Hot dog in the hallway or what? Ah, something like that, you know? <laughs> now you don't need lube, but you know, this is a little bit. Uh huh. Nah, it's actually uh, NECs. So oh, okay. for whatever reason, like you, if you have to take it off in the future, they will never get stuck. Yeah. So they provide these with like their lug nuts and stuff like that. So. Spoons lug nuts? Yeah. You buy them from Spoon, they offer, or they, they include it. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. but I would apply a generous amount. That finger though. Mm -hmm. A little dirty. Mm -hmm. She likes it dirty? Sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Depends on the mood. This will then go into there. Check that. So 
just going to do all four, right? One, two. Uh, there's actually six. Six. One, two, three, and then on the other side. Sorry. Oh, yeah, on the back side? Yeah. yeah. So this hole right here, pretty much where, where this arm connects to it, or would bolt up to it. Yeah, the just, bracket. You, yeah. You, okay, so one, two, two yeah, and three. And three. And then Ooh. something on the rear, you have six as well. So, yeah. So we have the arm off, that's why I miscounted, so... Yep. So this actually is a mounting point, so this would actually have one as well. So there's actually eight of them. But I guess, uh, so the, I, I don't know. I guess it depends if you define that bracket as lower control arm or yeah. But they still include it for that one. So like on this one, there would be one on top and one on the bottom. Mm -hmm. This one would only have one on top. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the arm would only have one on top, and then this would actually have one on top and then one on the bottom as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, eight holes in total. Uh, Two, well, four in the front on the, on the four bolt holes, four in the rear, and then two on the sides. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We totally forgot that piece, had it off. Just give it my Someone on YouTube's gonna comment like yeah, that. Yeah, I, I knew that was gonna happen, so I had to correct myself. <laughs> All right, well, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Me just kicking it out here at PCD again. You guys learned something new with installing rigid collars, although not really self explanatory. Kind of saw what was going on with the VCD and all the builds that's going on here. Pretty much every car is lagging in either parts. Or uh, payments, or Lewis, or you know, pretty much, pretty much everything. But we won't talk about it. And uh, but yeah, guys. So it's always cool when I come out here. A bunch of new stuff going on. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to subscribe for more Type R content. I was gonna say S2 con S2K content, but car might not be around so much anymore. Maybe if I come to Lewis, but at least me might not be in my garage no more. So yeah, guys. So. We're gonna be having Type R content, R6 content as usual, and then S2K, con S2K content whenever I come to Lewis now. So, alright guys, peace.